this week's weekend video, which was... I thought about doing it about programming, but... Well, that's a lot of work and I kind of didn't fill up to it because I've been programming a lot last week, so... I'm kind of done with this for a weekend. So, let's talk about pronunciation of letters. Because there's something interesting about it when you look at how Dutch letters are pronounced. Because it gets kind of dumb. Because it isn't just that letters are pronounced different here. No, they seem to be, for the last part, to be out of sync with how the English say letters. For instance, let's take the A. I mean, that's how it's pronounced in English. But in Dutch, it's pronounced as an A, as in banana. The A, when a Dutch person hears A, they think of the E, like the A in name. So that gets pretty confusing, right? Our A, if we hear A, we think E. Oh, but it gets even better. When we hear E, we think of I, as in like it's pronounced in individual. And after that, well, it doesn't completely work, because we don't have a letter that's pronounced as I. We do have letters that are pronounced as A. Here's the thing, both EI and EJ are pronounced as A. And there is literally no difference between the two, they are pronounced exactly the same. Oh, but that of course does not mean that they are interchangeable, of course. No, of course not. No. Even though words would be pronounced the exact same, words are just... Words are only written with one of the two. Oh, and just to make it even more confusing... The EI... Is also the Dutch word for egg. And we have more letters. Or more combination of letters that form new letters. For instance, the OU and AU. Now how on earth would you try to pronounce this? Because I'll tell you how it is pronounced. As OW. Both are pronounced as OW. As in, OW that fucking hurts. Is there any good reason for this? Well, probably if you go look into the history of the Dutch language, but... Yeah, no, this is really dumb. Oh, and then of course we also have IE. But this is not pronounced as A. Like the EI. This is also pronounced as E. And strictly as E here. Not as also being able to pronounce as an E. This one is only E. Yeah, Dutch spelling is nice, isn't it? Oh, and then we also have a letter that is... I haven't really seen it in any other language. I mean, I might just be very oblivious because, well... Well, I'm dyslectic. I only speak English and Dutch. But we also have the O-E. You want to know how that's pronounced? As U, as in guru. Yeah, like I said, Dutch language is... Well, Dutch spelling... Well, for one, it's really dumb. Especially things like the uh, OU and AU. The AUS. They are pronounced the exact same, but... If you are trying to learn how to write words, like blau, well, there is nothing that indicates which one of the two it needs. The best you can do is learn which words 
R A U, and the rest is O U. Yeah, there is no logic behind it at all. Same with the two A's. Oh, and A's is also the Dutch word for ice. Because that's not very annoying at all. But yeah, also there, there's no logic behind it at all. So yeah, if you ever talk to a Dutch person and you're trying to spell a word to a Dutch person and he has a hard time writing it down, well now you kind of know why. They don't line up very well and it's just very dumb. But yeah, that was my very short weekend video that I made because I did not want to talk about programming this week. Maybe next week. This has been Phoenix, saying farewell. <laughs>